Hello students, so let's try to solve one problem from CSIR NET 2023 December examination. This is a really nice problem and this problem is mainly from the operators. And uh, it is given that uh, this is harmonic oscillator, the system is harmonic oscillator. A is your small a is your annihilation operator and capital N is number operator. Then what we have to do, we have to calculate the value of e to the power capital N a e to the power minus capital N. So we have to find this particular value. So you can solve this problem you know, in a different way. One of the ways that you can just uh, open this thing, do the Taylor expansion of e to the minus a, e to the power n and e to the power minus n and apply the kit n on right side and then you can see what will be the equivalent one. So this is one way. The another way is that you can direct use the basic formula of operators. So suppose you have two operator A and B, then what we can have? We can have e to the power e to the power A, B e to the power minus A. This is very nice uh, formula e to the power minus A. This is given as B commutation of A and B plus 1 by factorial 2 commutation of A and again commutation of A and B and 1 by factorial 3 and we have commutation of A, commutation of A and A and B. So this type of series will go up to infinity. So let's see which series and you can see in the option you can have this particular A some series is also given. So let's try to solve this. So what do we have to do? I have to put A is equivalent to N and B is equivalent to A. So we have to calculate E to the power N, A, E to the power minus N. And we know the commutation between N and A is nothing but minus A. So we know this particular commutation. So when we are using this thing, so you have e to the power a, sorry, this will be e to the power n, e to the power n, a, e to the power minus n, and that value is equal to a, the commutation between, this is nothing but a, n and a, this is all about n and a, and uh, next one is, 1 by factorial 2, what we have A, sorry, this will be N, this will be N and N and A, plus we have factorial 3, this will be N, again we have N, and again we have N and A. So, we will go up to this level and then we can solve this thing, then we can see the trend. So what will happen? This will remain A and we know N A is minus 1. So this value is minus A and next one is, this is very interesting. So this is 1 upon factorial 2 that is N, N A is minus A. So this will be minus A plus 1 by factorial 3. Then we have N and you have N and minus A and this kind of thing is there. So what we have a plus minus a and you have plus 1 by factorial 2 n a is minus a and minus minus plus a. So there is plus a and again n a is minus a minus minus plus a, and again go further then you have 1 upon factorial 3 a and you can have some beautiful trend. So if we can take it this is out. So this is a and you have 1 minus 1 plus 1 upon factorial 2 and this will be minus 1 upon factorial 3 and so on. And we have this particular series e to the power minus x. So e to the power minus x is equal to 1 minus x plus x square by factorial 2 and then minus x cube by factorial 3. So this series is 
can be written as something a e to the power minus 1. You can put x is equal to 1 and we can have this particular series. So, yes, the answer is all about second number is the answer. So, this is equivalent to basically e to the power minus a into so, e to the minus 1 is number, you can write it in any way, so, this one is the correct answer. So, 2 is the correct one. So, this is really nice problem and fortunately, you will find that this formula is exclusively given in our booklet. This formula is exclusively given in our booklet in, in a chapter of commutation. So, yes, you have to go into the very deep rooted study when you want to qualify the good examination like net gate or some more examination so students if you have any suggestion let me know